Today I'm going to show you a glitch that I found that I think embodies the spirit of Season of Discovery. I really hope Blizzard doesn't fix it unless some sort of exploit comes out of it. This is the most fun I've had playing WoW since the early days of Wall Jump to Hydral and Caverns of Times in Vanilla. That being said, like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. As a mage in Season of Discovery Phase 3, we got a new rune called Displacement. The way this rune works is for 10 seconds after you blink, you can cast Displacement and return to the original location that you blinked from. If you think about this in terms of programming, it realistically records your X, Y, and Z coordinates and then it places you back at them. What would happen if you say, did this in a new instance? One that wasn't the same as where those coordinates were originally recorded? Well, I'm here to tell you that it indeed does teleport you to those coordinates, but inside of the new instance. As you can see, when I do this technique from within stockades, I get sent to Alteric Mountains. This seems to be the go-to location when you go from inside of an instance to Eastern Kingdoms. So what would happen if you went from an instance to Kalimdor? Well, you usually end up in Stone Talon Mountains. That seems to be the go-to place. There have been a couple times when I ended up in Thunder Bluff, and I think the issue with that is because it actually teleports you under the map, so the game tries to figure out where the closest graveyard is. This is the part of the video where things get interesting. Technically speaking, Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor are both their own instances. So what happens if you travel between the two? Well. Greatness, that's what. You can consistently and reliably make a map that shows you exactly where you will travel between the two, minus Z location, unless someone takes the time to make that. The easiest way to create this map is to screenshot your location when zoomed out on one continent, use the technique to the other continent, and then screenshot your location again. Overlapping these two screenshots with your arrow aligned will give you the map you're looking for. So how do we use this? Highlight the area you want to visit on whatever map has the location, and then hide the map. You'll now need to position yourself somewhere inside the mark on the other map. So let's try this theory by visiting behind the gates of AQ. You'll see that I'm teleported right behind the gates of AQ and I'm free to explore. This is huge. You can pinpoint any location in the game and get there with little to no barrier to entry, literally. There's so many things that can be done with this. For instance, here I am swimming through fatigue and surviving all the way to the wall that you get stuck in. The way I do this is pretty simple. Swim until fatigue is close to being gone, teleport out, wait for fatigue to fill up and displace back. I was doing this to try to reach GM Island, but I did hit an invisible wall, so I'm not 100% sure that it's possible. If you take this technique and build on it or find something really interesting, let me know in the comments below and I'll check it out. I'll be making a follow-up video with some realistic approaches to what you'd use this for, such as teleporting directly to the DMF buff in Malgor, so keep an eye out for that. And as always, stay curious.